Video number two, take seven. Welcome back. On the last video, we shared with you this image right here. We talked about this idea that the world around us is changing faster than our ability as human beings to adapt to that change. And if this is true, this reveals an opportunity right now for those of us who lead, teach, or convene groups of any type. What we wanna share with you is this. What is it that needs to change when we bring any type of group together? in order for us to meet the world where it's at. So let's draw another picture. So first of all, a good way of thinking about this is the idea that in a time of low levels of change and complexity, which is looking back in this direction, that the idea that a few people would have all the answers and that that's perfectly sufficient in how we lead and how we teach, um, that makes a lot of sense. But in this particular moment, when a team or an organization comes together to solve a problem, to shape their future, to work better together, or in a learning environment, in a training, a workshop, a learning community, where the goal is to engage and unlock collective wisdom, in both of these environments, we really are operating in a time where we need to ask some really important questions. Not only how do these values need to change, but how is it that we can move away from a few people having the answers to unlocking the wisdom of as many people as possible? And the way that we do that here at Exchange is by designing questions and conversations that deliver a very specific output when we come together in any imaginable type of group. And if you think about this, what we're moving away from is some people would call a, a 1.0 or industrial age model of leading or teaching. Some would say that this is all about knowing. It's about telling. It's about controlling. But if we're looking, as Gary Hamill says, to invite innovation to come from everywhere, if we're looking, as Debbie Rodman, Rosman said, to unlock our highest creativity and passion, and if we want to do this at a speed and a scale that maybe we didn't know was possible, we have to get to a different way of bringing groups together. And here at Exchange, it's about a different set of values and a different set of tools. It's about asking through the design and the crafting of the questions that are most relevant and important when we bring a group together. And later in this video series, we'll share with you some examples of exactly the kinds and types of questions that you can go use to lead what we call an exchange. It's about moving from telling to inviting. And it's about moving from controlling to unlocking collective wisdom at speed and scale, which is what we call an exchange, a human exchange that brings out the very best in any group environment. If you're interested in understanding how this works and how we do it, then I will see you at video number three.